Hello, sir. How are you this morning? Fine, thanks. And where are you flying to today? Melbourne. The 11.15 flight? Yes, that's correct. And how many bags are you checking in today, sir? Just the one, thank you. Is it possible to get an aisle seat in the exit row? Let me just check that for you, sir. I can offer you a middle seat in the back row near the toilet. Is that okay? Well, not really. Isn't there an aisle seat anywhere on the flight? I'm afraid not, sir. We are fully booked. Well, okay. I'll take the middle seat, I guess. Can you place your bag on the conveyor belt, please? Sure. And what about that other bag, sir? I'll be carrying this on, thanks. No problem, sir. May I ask what is inside that bag? It's my saxophone. Oh. Well then I'm afraid you will have to check that bag too, sir. But why? You just said it was no problem? Qantas regulation, sir. We must check all instruments, unless they are a violin. But that is ridiculous. Before you knew what was in this case, you said there was no problem. Why all of a sudden can I not take this on board the plane simply because it is a saxophone? Because under Qantas regulations, only violins can be taken on board the plane. But why? This case is about the same size as a violin case. Why does it make a difference what is inside a bag, if it fits in the overhead locker? That bag will not fit in the overhead locker, sir. Yes, it will. I have been traveling on Qantas for over 15 years, with the same saxophone, in the same case. Why all of a sudden do I have a problem taking this case on the plane? Qantas regulation, sir. Qantas regulation, sir, is not an answer. I need a reason why I can't take my saxophone on board. Do you think I'm going to take it out and start practicing my scales as loud as I can? Do you think I'm going to blast a solo on giant steps right into the pilot's ears? Or do you just hate jazz musicians? It is too large to fit in the overhead compartment, sir. No, it isn't, damn it. I can't believe this. You need to give me a reason why I cannot take my saxophone on board. Well, if you played the violin, there would be no problem. Why the hell can a violin be taken on board and a saxophone can't? Because the violin is a beautiful and fragile instrument. And let's face it, the saxophone is not. And besides, the wife of the CEO of Qantas is a violinist, and so the CEO insisted that only violins be taken on board as planes. The wife of the CEO of Qantas plays the violin, does she? Why am I not surprised? Sir, I have to check that item. It is too large to fit in the overhead compartment. Please place it on the conveyor belt. Look at that guy over there. Look at his bags. He's got a carry-on suitcase, a suit bag, a backpack and a large coat. That stuff is twice the size of my saxophone. Why the hell can he take that on board and I can't? Those bags comply with Qantas regulations, sir. What if he had a clarinet in one of those bags? Would that comply with Qantas regulations? Um? Well, um, those bags are within Qantas regulations, sir. I bet if there was a bomb in one of those bags it would not comply with Qantas regulations. What was that, sir? Nothing. Nothing. Do I need to call security, sir? No, 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 I was joking. Sir, your flight is leaving in 20 minutes. I have to check that item or you will miss the flight. Fine. Check it then. But if my horn gets busted, I'll sue. Qantas takes no responsibility for lost or broken items. Damn it. This gig ain't even worth this shit. Here is your boarding pass, sir. You're in row 53 in a middle seat. Have a lovely flight.